Hello, Miguel from Grumo here, and I want to show you an amazing app that I had a chance to build for an NBA team called the Portland Trail Blazers. And this is one of my favorite apps that I got a chance to build, and it helped the Trail Blazers to coordinate the entire logistics of their annual media day, where all the basketball players have to take all pictures and videos for their marketing materials and their social media accounts. And basically, it used to be a nightmare because they have to coordinate all of this manually with spreadsheets and printouts. And they decided they want something better, like a mobile app, but they didn't know if they could build an app fast enough to make it in time for their media day. So they asked around some agencies and basically most of them say it was gonna cost tens of thousands of dollars. And luckily, just in time, they found Glide, which allows people build mobile apps without coding. And uh, then they needed an expert. And luckily they found me and then they asked me whether I could build this app and I did. And in fact, I built most of the functionality in less than 24 hours. So the problem that we're trying to solve basically is that they have 19 players and in one morning, in less than four hours, they have to visit 24 rooms and in each room they would be either taking pictures or videos or interviews or participating in a podcast and they would collect all this media for the rest of the year. So what the media manager that hired me wanted is to have a mobile app that all crew members and handlers could use on media day to coordinate the logistics and see which rooms were available, which rooms were not available, which rooms were left for the players to go to and all in a single app. Now let's pretend I'm logged in in the app as a crew member. So I select a random crew member. Now if we go to this crew member's profile page, right? And it's getting a message saying, please head to your assigned room because this crew member has already been assigned a room which is the room this crew member needs to check in at the beginning of the day. Now, this is a snapshot of the app towards the end of the day. So you can see that already a bunch of players have been through this room. We also can see that all the crew team is uh, checked in. And we also have even a map showing how to get to this specific room. All right. So what a crew member would do as soon as they start the day is head to their assigned room and they would check in into that room. He was checked in, so I checked out, but it will basically click the button to check in. And once all the crew members check in the room, that room becomes available because they don't want handlers to take players to rooms where there, there is missing crew. Obviously, if I check out, now it says here, missing crew. Okay, there's a lot of logic behind the scenes to make sure that everything flows nicely. Now, let me check in as a handler. So, for example, Drew Eubanks, the handler is uh, patient mation. I'm going to pretend to be logging as patient mation. So now I'm pretending to log in as a handler. And I can see I visited as this handler 21 out of 24 rooms. If I go to the main tab where all the rooms are listed, we can see that right now all the rooms are vacant. And the reason why is because uh, there's nobody else using this app. During the actual day, there was uh, most of the rooms were not available because they were already taken by players. But right now I can see all the rooms, uh, the ones that uh, I've completed. Okay. I can see the overall progress all the time. So I, I have three rooms left. So if, if I go to the to do one, I can see there's three rooms that I have to take my player to. Okay. And let's say I want to check in now into this room and I can only check in again because all the crew members are already checked in. That means that they are present in the room and ready to start filming and I can check in. The moment I check in, this room becomes occupied or not available. And I can start a timer because players were only allowed to be 10 minutes in each room. Remember, they had to go through 24 different rooms in the span of less than four hours. So you have to keep people moving really fast. Now, if I log in as a different player, Jabari Walker, uh, that was, uh, the handler was Jocelyn. So I'm just going to pretend to be logged in as, as Jocelyn. If I go back to rooms, now we should be able to see that there is one room that is occupied. You can see that? So as soon as a room is occupied, there is a counter uh, showing how many minutes there are left for that room to be freed. And I have to wait or simply look 
for the next available room, okay? But this is a way to basically lock rooms so handlers only go to the available rooms. And at all times, they know how many rooms they have left to do. In this case, only two rooms left for this handler to complete the 24 rooms. Let's say that for Moda 6, this room, one of the crew members, Leonardo, checks out because he has to go for a pee break, right? So let me just pretend to be Leonardo here, Leonardo Osborne, and I'm logged in as Leonardo Osborne. I'm going to check out of this station, and what happens immediately is that under rooms, we should see that we cannot check in this room because there's missing crew. This was another way to avoid for handlers going to rooms that were not available, either because they were already occupied by a NBA player or because crew was missing. And now there is a couple more tabs I want to discuss. One is a players tab. All the players are listed here. And we can see which players are in a session. Right now, this player is in a session and uh, it has six minutes left to leave the current session. We can see the overall progress also of all the rooms that they've completed for the day from low to high. This allows the administrator to see real quickly who is missing some rooms. And if we go to the bottom, we can see some people have already completed all the rooms, but we can go to this player and we can see, okay, uh, it's visited 15 out of 24 rooms. We could contact the handler and then find out, hey, what's going on? Uh, why are you falling behind or something like that? And also there is a crew tab where all the crew members are listed, right? You can see always yourself as the logged in person, but you can also uh, look for any specific uh, crew member or handler and then uh, get in contact with them if you have any questions, if they're missing, if you need absolutely anything, and all from a, the app. Then you have some general information about call times, parking, catering, stuff like that. And then a chat tab where during the day I could offer live support to people that were having trouble checking in or they had any issues using the app. Now, the entire app had to be managed by an administrator, somebody that doesn't know how to code. Basically, the manager of the media day had to be able to use the app to monitor the overall progress of the day and also to assign rooms and assign players to the handlers and crew members, okay? So now I'm gonna pretend to be logged in as the administrator of the app and now I have more control, so I can see an admin tab and I can see the total users, total players, total rooms, and the total check-ins. Uh, but the coolest part of all is I can see all these sessions. This means all the sessions that are in progress, uh, sessions that are overdue because they've been there for more than 10 minutes, and all the done sessions. Let's say somebody forgets to check out, I can always forward check out as the administrator to free that room so other handlers can use it. And I also can delete the session if it was created by mistake. I can see also a list of all the users and I can create new users, either add new players, new handlers, reassign players to handlers. Let's see this Alina uh, has assigned a player already, but I could easily reassign a player. And a little indicator in red saying that this player has already been assigned. So if I were to liberate this player, let me just, uh, now it's assigned to Greg Brown. So I'm gonna uh, free it. So now it's there's a warning saying no player assigned to this handler. I can easily see which one is available. Another thing is that I wanted to make it very easy to assign and reassign players based on whatever happened during the day. So right now, the only available player that is not assigned is Greg, and I can easily, with one click, assign it back to Elena. And the same thing for crew members. So let's find a crew member here, crew up, there you go. And this crew member is a director, has a room assigned already, but let's say that I don't assign a room. Uh, let me see, uh, BMC01, and let's reassign to a different room. And there you go. That's how easy I can reassign somebody to a different room. And I can reassign back that VMC01 room to this director, Kate. And all happens within the app in real time. All the people using the app get all the updates that happen in real time. And throughout the day, the administrator 
under sessions can see the overall day progress here under session progress. We can see that right now we're over 100% done. This is because I deleted uh, some players, but basically what you could see throughout the day is when we started the day at 8 a.m., the progress was zero and throughout the day, this progress bar kept growing, giving the media event manager an idea of whether they're on time or falling behind the overall uh, media day, right? So really, really useful. You can see now this uh, player is overdue because 10 minutes have been over. Now as the administrator, I could force check out this uh, player. I could send a message to, to this handler saying, hey, what's going on? And uh, Let's for, for check out this player, boom. There you go, now that room is available again. I want to stress that most of the functionality of this app was built within 24 hours. In fact, I built most of the app before I even got in a call to discuss the app itself because when I got a request to build this app, the media manager did a great job explaining the problem. So as soon as I got this request, I built it, most of the functionality. So when we got into a call and he asked, do you think this is possible to build with Glide? I said, well, uh, let me share your screen. And I proceeded to showing him exactly what he just described to me on the call. And he said, unbelievable. Not only it's possible, you've already built most of the app in less than 24 hours. He was blown away to say the least. And it made me so happy to see a client so happy. And not only that, the app did exactly what I needed to do. The day was a success. And I thought this was a perfect use case for Glide. You know, you have a very specific program like a logistics problem or event, and you need a quick app to solve the logistics, to help people communicate with each other, to have everybody on the same page, and you could try to build this na natively and it would cost you an arm and a leg and all the fingers and toes and everything. Or you can use Glide and build it, either hiring somebody like me or yourself in a few hours. How amazing is that? All right. Now, if you're curious on how to use Glide and you would like to build your own apps, I have a course uh, that teaches you absolutely everything you need to do to create apps similar to this and blow your customers away or just build apps for yourself. And you can get it for a 50% discount at grumo.com slash go glide. All right. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.